We have Morali up there, who's also another freaking monster. Who is also another freaking mo- I mean... I mean, what can you say? All right, boys, it is time for another episode of Gork Hood here, bringing you your dose of... <laughs> and right now, we have plenty of things to do right off the bat here. We're not gonna spend any time talking about it, because we just gotta do them. First and foremost, we got two miracles charged up with Ocelot and Isma. Things have been changed up a little bit differently when it comes to miracles as well. If you guys recall, I believe the Temple of War is a good example of that. Before, how it used to play out was the Temple of War, you could use it after two miracles, and you could use it for Miracle 3 and 4. Now, I believe how it works out is you can only use it once, but you can do it whenever you're ready to go. So, because Ocelot has at least one miracle, we can now come into the Temple of War. It'll take us two turns, 50, we got enough for it, dump them in there. Isma, for now, we're gonna wait off and give you that Temple of War later, but because you also have a miracle and we have enough offerings for it, I'm gonna send you off to work the farm one more time over here. And then what we want to do is also build up some more building materials so we get some more upgrades here going forward. So that's the first part. Second part, Adarian and Maza are gray. I think it's time for us to depart with our strong orc warriors here and we have an initiated class ready to go. So I'm thinking it's time to say hello to our next batch of boys here coming in. Hopefully coming in hot, coming in with plenty of vigor and ready for spilling Humey blood across the floors here. So we have, um, unfortunately, the bloodline of Adarian doesn't look too amazing based on the color, but we have a green and Aaron from the old city. So let's go ahead and pop these bad boys over here. Not too crazy, not too crazy. The Adarian one. And Aaron from the old city. Oh, baby, you treat me so well. <laughs> Sometimes they don't even have to be bloodline people, they're just good because they were born good. What can you do? So, it's gonna hurt to say goodbye to Adarian, who's been really, really useful for us, but hey, we have Ocelot here. And Ocelot, I do believe, in a way, has kind of overtaken Adarian. Plus, Ocelot's a lot younger. We have the Temple of War thing going on pretty soon. So, hey, Adarian and Maza, both of you, thank you for your work, but it is time to say goodbye. Aaron, no questions asked. You want to be an executioner, a chieftain, and a rage prophet? Do we want another executioner, you're asking? Absolutely. Why not? They're so freaking good. Welcome aboard. Let's get on out of here. Welcome to new initiates. And... We could start giving them some experience. That is a really, really good idea, I would say. So how do we play this out? I'm taking... Yzma. No, no, Yzma's doing its thing. Morali, let's get you off of this. And let's go ahead and give... Aaron, who's ecstatic, into gain miracle experience. Maybe? Maybe. Because you're ecstatic, you could get like one fell swoop in there. We'll see. In terms of what's happening outside, you're wondering, well, I did a little bit of, um, off-camera attacks. Because unfortunately, now I don't have the pleasantry of being able to wait for the next video recording. Because if I don't go out and fight somebody, everybody's getting upset. You know, essentially, we live in a civilization of orcs. They need blood spilling. If there's no blood being spilled, everybody gets upset. Bad things could happen in the civilization, so I've had to push forward here. But I've basically just crossed into these new lands for us to check out. Um, we want to build up some more tribute before we actually fight him on. Oh, and we got the Wondrous War Raid, of course we did. Good job, who is that, Ocelot? It's her boy Revolver Ocelot the Orc. So here we have a couple of options because of the Wondrous one. We have, collect 25 green skins and two ritual offerings per strength, materials, or bloodlust. I think we're gonna need bloodlust eventually, right? I forget for what. It might have changed for all I know now. But right now, I'm gonna take the easy 25 extra green skins because why not? Plus 5 to might, plus 4 to cutting, and 2 to HP. Oh my god, you're gonna be a tank. A quick as hell tank. And we got cutting and might. Which one do we want for you now? <laughs> I mean, cutting's looking pretty good as it is, so let's just go and just smash some more dudes. And that gave us our level up too, so as you can see, we're starting off hot here with this video. Up to level 10. We got ourselves another statue as well, the first one we use for the Chapa. Now, I'm not sure we're gonna be using here, but we'll figure it out. I'm gonna say we use it on the Hunting Miracle. The Skull of War, you're saying? Yeah. I, I think that's gonna be perfect, but we need to obviously rename it, right? All right, listen up. This is going to be the Hubie School of War! 
construct the building. Sunstone requires 20 building materials, which we do have. And we're gonna go ahead and put that right next to our Temple of War as well. I like this will be like kind of like my entire like worshipping area. So that's good. Inspire a miracle onto you. Do you want to go ahead? You're happy? Go to the Temple of War as well. Why not? And let's go do a fight. So, Morali, you want to be part of the sacrament? Let's put you part of the sacrament right over there. You got a little bit of less HP, but it's only two. Shouldn't be a big, too big of a problem. Isma, you definitely have the advantage over here as well. And none of these boys should be able to wreck my dark, so I'm thinking... Should we use Eren already? Or should we continue with Ocelot here? Ocelot, you're at 25. 16 for Eren. Ocelot, you got two miracles. You're still fairly young. Let's go with Ocelot here. We could continue giving Eren a couple of more reps in the study. Sacrament area. But for actual fights, I'm going to bring him down as soon as possible without taking too much damage, so Ocelot is ideal for that. I mean, you have Morali up there, who's also another freaking monster. Who is also another freaking mo- I mean... I mean, what can you say? What can you say about the boys needing blood and needing more human skulls? We got an ambition prayer. That's because um, we gave Morali what he was looking for, wanted to be part of the sacrament. Should have a buff here going on for a while. We also got our hardy folklore for any future recruits. Nine materials, ritual offerings. I ain't even mad. I ain't even mad. Things are looking pretty good. So, 9155, two sky shards, 288. We need 330 to get up to level 12, which will give us the Colosseum. That's a new building too, yo. They've added so many new buildings. What do we do here meanwhile? And I think at this point, we might as well just farm this one over and over and get them up to their second miracle. Meanwhile, we gather up some more ritual offerings for our next tribute. As long as we keep these people happy right now where they're in awe. This might be the perfect time actually to go out and do one of the tougher fights because we have the extra H experience for it. Let me, let me at least take a peek out here for this, because I feel this could be probably useful, especially with the extra HP. This would bring us up to, like, maybe 75. Yeah, 75 to their 45. Their second fight, I cannot see how much... Oh, they have Team, 80, team 81. Is this doable? The problem is their Songsmiths are gonna hurt our Executioners. But, we could also go Rage Prophet to hurt them quite a bit. And we have Morali. Not sure if I'm ready for Kuali just yet. You're a Chieftain, you don't hit as hard. Um, but I'm thinking Morali could definitely help out over here. You know what, let's just go Ocelot in there. The trick here is, hit them so hard that they have no chance to retaliate. And then we'll have to worry about my defenses being too weak to actually tank their hits. And again, the only problem here is gonna be that Rage Prophet. The Songsmiths... <laughs> Bring them all up! You know what? That Ketsa cold area? Bring it up right now. I'll, I'll take it on right now. I got no problem. I'm on top of the world right now, baby. We're just building up all these human schools and just basking on top of them. Alright, so... Now, their main hitter is gonna be a Chieftain. Which isn't doesn't hit as strong as the Rage Prophet, but obviously the Chieftain has more rallying abilities, which could make the other dudes in the party stronger. That's the only thing we have to worry about. Otherwise, though... As I've mentioned, we have Isma here, who should be good for this. We gotta go with Morali, because Morali has got no weakness to what's happening over here. The wild card would again be Ocelot, but I think Ocelot is still monster enough to be fine. Can we replicate this again? We got first, so... That indeed does make me happy. You have Intimidate. That, that would hurt, sure. I'm not questioning that. That's probably, like, not the attack I would have preferred there, but what can you do sometimes? You gonna make them stronger? Oh, Ocelot, we could have had that knockout right now, no worries. Now we have to kind of grin and bear it a little bit. But that Retribution came in at the perfect opportune time, and there's no more beatings to tank, and we have done it, boys! My goodness, God. This is the power of war. I missed it, you know, I got too comfortable with the divine thing just being a turtle. I mean, we were green as turtles, but now we're really the green boys here. We got ourselves another Sky Shard, and also that cunning folklore, which will give us more speed for our future recruits. Everybody's ecstatic and happy. Of course. Inspire Miracle on Kuali. 
It's already filled up. You've already done that one. I mean, you're the you're the class that's not supposed to be as strong as the other ones. You're kind of like somewhere in the middle. So maybe the cunning one would actually benefit you. Give me that extra speed in combat. So let's do that. And ritual offering, we're at 16. Let's do a little bit of gathering if we can on building materials to get some more upgrades over here. And go into next. We'll do a sacrament after we get Kuali his miracle after Aaron here. So one more turn, we'll go back out there. Wonders far miracle as well. Oh my god, things are going so good right now. And we have the awe as well. We might want to go and do the fight now. Take advantage of that like we did with the last one. Might and cunning. I mean, we're seeing the, the benefits of going first, right? Go first, hit hard. We were good. You're a 21 might. Ocelot in comparison is 25 and 14. I mean, you're technically already almost as fast, so there is that. And you got 10 years on him, too. So, what do you guys think? I'm thinking maybe a little bit of extra cunning would not be a bad thing. And here's what we do. You, more materials. Let's step outside. Let's use the fact that we have that 50% inspiration bonus to maybe knock out another difficult fight over here. We got Clean Coast, Eats Less Outpost. This will be for a knowledge folklore, not really as important to us, but because we have the back-to-back -back fights, probably the best time to use it. What do you got over here? 81. Very similar to what we just did. There's so, so... Oh, in order to get this unlocked, we need to beat you first. But I don't think we need the awe for that one. It's probably best to go over here. So, we're gonna get some offerings and sky shards in return. This fight? How does this fight shape up to us? They would be strong against nature, which you don't have any of, so that's fine. We know Ocelot wants to be part of a fight. Ocelot does not have any advantage over here at all. But again, there's no weakness too. As a matter of fact, we have nothing that they're strong against in our party. And if we follow it up over here when it comes to Divine, they have plenty of Divine, which means they'll be strong against... Ooh, they're gonna be strong against our Ancestral. So for that one, maybe we go Yzma, Ocelot, and Eren. I mean, things are shaping up pretty good here. And it's just weird, like, essentially how everything's working out now, like, it's... It's made me change, like, the way I play this game. Like, I'm now concocting different strategies based on everything that they've changed, so, like... I'm glad I got the mindset off of the old meta out of my head, finally, because that's what I was starting off, and when I first started playing this new update, I was, like, very, like, uh... What am I supposed to be doing? This feels kind of slow, I think I'm doing this wrong. Now it's just kind of, like, second nature at this point, so... I did pick it up fairly quickly. So here, we have no advantages against you, and you have the advantage against the Rage. So, as long as we avoid Rage, we should be fine. So let's go Ocelot, Yzma, and Eren. And if we can hit that Warwind right now, it could be good. We should also have the speed. Yes, we do. Let me get that Warwind. No, we got a War Reaper, not Warwind, but hey. One boy's already out of the party, and Twelver. So, Judge Ymir. That's fine. Okay. Well, you know, you, you'll get your repetitions in the, the healing garden here pretty soon, but this should be... Oh. That should be the knockout right there. I'm a little bit upset we didn't trigger that war with it. seems to be coming less and less now, but hey. Hopefully in a dire situation it does show up. We got our victory. We have, in a way so quickly gotten the two difficult fights after the old city out of the way already so early on now the only really big challenge that we await is up north because i'm not sure what to expect now with that quetzalcoatl cult religion up there i expect it to be fairly difficult but at least now we've kind of hid cruise control for these next ones i'm got a wondrous miracle in the hunting this is the first time i've done this one i don't think i've ever done the hunting lodge before so this will be the first time Kuali went into the forest blindfolded and without weapons. The hunters ridiculed Kuali, not even Draka, could help them now. Kuali returned with three fat swine. The hunters were astounded. How could Kuali have been such a bountiful hunt? Well, it was because he believed in the power of Draka. And the power of red. Because you go fast with red. Adds wondrous hunting miracle. This should also hook us up with some might as well, right? Three cunning, plus two to might, and plus one to knowledge. And we got ourselves a Totem Rally. Deals physical damage with both Might and Charisma. We have Might and Charisma over here, so... I mean... Charisma bonus, Charisma bonus. Might does seem to have just a little tad smidge more importance over it. So I am going to go Might for this one. 
because it'll definitely upgrade your power altogether. Curse is fairly useful too, but there is that. Let's take a step outside over here. This is so good. Oh, look at that! You have revealed yourself! Hmm. Cat Suckle, we finally meet, huh? You're the big baddie, at least one of your little small tribes over here. Could we take on this tribe right now, you're asking? Man, I don't see why not. It'd be foolish just because we have no tributes to really get the... You know, come in here, fight, win, and get some extra tributes into our stockpile. So right now I won't do it, but right now, honestly, looking at this right now, we can easily take this on. This is not a problem. This is not a problem. Yzma alone will probably just wreck these Rage Prophets. And then we could have Morali wreck this dude over here. Yeah, we could easily do that fight if we want to, but we won't. We gotta be smart. We gotta build up our tributes, obviously, for more building in the future. So alright, boys, I think we're gonna wrap it up here. I'm gonna get these boys ready. Maybe, maybe by the time we come back next episode, we start bringing those initiates in. Start playing with them a little bit here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Stick around for the next episode. Any sort of tips you want to leave behind, by all means do so. Any sort of advice, always welcome. But I think right now, as you can see, the blood is spilling quite well. I'll catch you guys next time.